Hello everyone and welcome back to Mixbuzz TV Mixing and Mastering Tutorials on YouTube. I'm your host David and today I'm going to show you a simple mixing trick that will not only save you a lot of time but will open up many possibilities for you to be creative with effects, parallel processing and so on. And you'll see you can use this trick for so many different purposes and application in a mix. I call this the blend fader trick. Basically, what we are going to create is a level compensated blend control that allows you to blend two mono sources, two different sounds as you would with, for example, uh, a parallel compression or, or an effect, while keeping the overall volume of the element, let's say a kick or a vocal, steady. And this is useful when you already have a balanced mix and you want to you wanna change something, you want to automate something, but you don't want to change the level of that element, a compressed kick or an affected vocal or a distorted bass. You want a distortion, but you want the overall level of the bass to stay the same. And these are just examples. Once you start to use in this, you will find so many applications. Another situation in which I use is when I want to morph two vocals and one has different EQ, different compressor, different whatever distortion, and I want them to blend in different parts of the song. Normally, what we do is to rise one fader and lower the other. On a console, it's easy. With the mouse, it's a pain in the ass. Even if you have a controller, it's not you know, the same thing. So with this blend fader trick, you can do that automatically, and it's pretty cool. Same goes for a clean and a distorted guitar. It you will see, you will find many uses for this. And especially for me, it's useful because I print a lot of stuff that runs through pedals and mini amps and stuff like that, as you saw in other videos. And I use this trick to blend those tracks in a mix all the time. And this will save you time, will save you the hassle of automated many plugins or many controls or many plugins. So I find this really, really useful. So let's start with the easiest way to do this. I have a clean bass here. and one printed with the rat pedal distortion. So pretty common situation where you have the clean bass and the distorted bass. Now, usually, even if this printed rat track was an aux with a plug-in on, what you would do usually is to bring up the distortion with the fader. And the overall volume of the bass goes up. Now, if you already have a balance in your mix, you don't want this. You want to keep the level pretty much the same when injecting the distortion, or you might need to automate the two sounds in different parts of the song. So the first thing that I did was level match by ear using the clip gain, these two tracks. So they are overall the same level. Now, we are gonna drag these two tracks on a stereo track. So, now we have here the clean bass on the left and the distortion on the right. Okay, now we are gonna send these stereo track to a stereo aux, in this case 2122, and we're gonna create two auxes. One stereo and one mono gonna color code these because I don't like the green and we're gonna call the first one blend fader and the other one blend out we are going to assign the input of the blend fader to the same output our stereo track is going and the output of the blend fader to another stereo bus, pay attention, it needs to be stereo, in this case, 23, 24. We're gonna assign the input on the blend out aux, which is mono, only to one bus, mono, 23, which is one side of the output of the blend fader. Now, our stereo track is going here, and to the blend fader and the blend fader is going to the blend out which is going to the main output now here's the trick you see this little fader here well you open up and you use this button which 
in versus the pans and then we link the pans now when we move the pan you see one goes in one direction and the other goes in the other direction so what is going to happen is with the pans at 100 percent we're going to get on one side the clean base on the other side the distorted base let's hear that clean distorted now use the pan to blend them together and keep the overall level the same. Of course, the distorted part always appear louder so you need to level match these two by ear and uh, i did it on the fly right now but uh yeah you get the concept it is a pretty cool trick it's not just limited to something like this so let's take it a step further and let's do something a little more complicated i've already prepared another track here so we make an active the rat pedal and here what I did is I copied the clean track so let's bypass this it's the same track and I applied a chain of effects on this one for example the lo-fi which I use all the time and it doesn't have a blend knob so I wanted something really weird here for this example So a sort of sputtery fuzz kind of effect then i limited the bandwidth and i added a little modulation just for this example just to make a chain so if you want to blend these two together if you want to automate different parts of the song with one sound versus the other you would need a lot of automation if we use the blend fader again and in this case we cannot bring these two tracks on a stereo track because you know the effects here are not printed we need to get creative with the routing which is not difficult really we send the affected track to one bus this case 22 the clean 21 which is the input of our blend fader. On one side, the sputtery affected bass, the other side, the clean one. And here you have it, you know, an automatic level compensated blend control for any chain of plugins that you can possibly have on on an aux channel a copy of a track anything you want and this can be also used for a simple thing like a parallel kick let's say your favorite compressor it's the cla 76 doesn't have a blend control or you know a, a saturation knob which is very common Kramer pi any any plugin that doesn't have a bland mix control or if you have two of them Let's say, you know, the, the CLA and the saturation on your parallel kick drum. Let's try this example. So I have three kicks here and they go to my kick sum. I've already set my kick parallel aux, which has bus three as an input. So from the kick sum, we send to bus three. And this is our compressed. We can add saturation too. Okay. So now we send our clean kick to our bus 2122. And actually only 21. Sorry. And our parallel to bus 22. And again, we have 
clean kick, distorted kick. And we can blend them together. The parallel is a little loud, so we level match it. And again, you have your blend control automation in different parts of the song is going to be super fast, super easy once you set this up. You know, if you want to distort the kick on, on the choruses or the verses, you don't have to do move faders and, and, you know, do any numbers of automations on plugins and stuff like that. Here's another example on vocals. I have this vocal here. Hey, yo, man, I dig them fad up. Any demon say them if you take me out up. Go up on the beach, figo dance slam bad up. What did I do was turn this into MIDI with Melodyne and send the MIDI to a um, vocoder in this case more for their from waves and i have this sound here what we do again is to send the vocoder to bus 22 our blend fader has bus 21 and 22 as an input the dry vocal to bus 21 and the output of our blend fader goes to bus 23, 24. We activate these two buttons. This is important. And we have dry signal on one side and the affected on the other side. Hey, man, I go them dry. In this case, our vocoder is lower in level. So we can turn this up. Hey, man, I go them you can see from the bars here on the meter that we are about at the same level so we can live with that for this example hey yo man i go them fad up any demon say them if you take me out up go up on the beach if you go down slam bad up every girl every girl every girl around come so you can do any kind of trick in this case i added a delay too let's do a quick automation pass to see you know just what happens let's start about let's say here and let's go. Hey, yo, man, I go them any demon say them if you take me out up go up on the beach if you go down slam bad up every girl every girl every girl around come see we on why you give us home you give us home tell them we are party till he done one thing we know what see how they gone i could dream and the girls them want me Everywhere we go, them are call with Lisa, Keisha, and Shani, and Shani, and Shani. Any guy can want. So it's just an example. As you can see, in automation, we did write the pans, and they are opposite. So remember to activate the inverse pan button here and to link the pan knobs. That's essential for this trick. So I guess this is it for this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you use this in the comment section down below. I'm sure some of you will come up with some cool tricks, especially for EDM and stuff like that. So don't be an ass and share with all of us. And that's a wrap. This is it for this video. I hope it was informative. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to click the like button and share our videos around. Join Mixbus TV on Facebook and Twitter. Stay in touch with us and get all the news about the channel, upcoming videos and series and access to exclusive content. Keep supporting Mixbus TV by sharing the videos and spreading the word on blogs, forums, social media. Subscribe if you haven't already, and see you next time.